Hey guys, welcome to the September newsletter. We are almost in fall and I'm super excited. It's my favorite season of the year and uh, I can't wait. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize in advance. This is probably going to be a longer than usual newsletter because we have a ton of exciting things to go over. So um, I hope you can stick around and listen, whether it's you know as a podcast or if you're watching the full video, awesome. But um, I hope you will stick around and listen to all the exciting things we have happening and I'll just say the fall because I'm going to highlight some things that are coming up as well. So um, I just want to kick off by saying thank you to everybody who came out to tap for my birthday or you know if you sent a text message or just said happy birthday like I sincerely appreciate all the love that you guys shared. You made f turning 40 feel a lot better than I thought it would. I uh, had an amazing day with friends, family, just just a great day all together. So uh, 40's off to a good start. So um, again, just thank you so much to everybody. Our varsity program is kicking off and the kids are loving it. Um, it's just really cool to see them <clears throat> getting good guidance, instruction, learning how to uh, move their bodies in proper ways and learning speed, agility, strength, just all aspects of fitness and uh, the feedback has been phenomenal so again if you know anybody that has a teenager that can make that 315 time on Tuesdays and Thursdays the varsity program is off and running and the kids are having a blast starting on September 5th we are launching Everfit this is our legends or 50 plus program uh, Coach Ryan's going to be leading this. He's super excited about it, and we've got a handful of people that have already signed up. We've got a few members that are really excited to add this to their um, their workout routine. Um, so if you know anybody in the 50 plus range is just wanting to get in some good workouts that are age appropriate and really focus on improving that mobility, strength, all the things that we need to live our best lives in our later years. So um, yeah, if you wanna have any questions, ask myself, ask Ryan, if you have any friends, family that could benefit, like we would love the chance to talk to them about how this program works and how, what it can do for them and, and improving their longevity. CrossFit programming. I am super excited to let you guys know that starting Tuesday the second, I think the third, uh, Tuesday the third, we are going to be switching our program. We've been running NC Fit for a while, and it's a great program. We've enjoyed it, no complaints whatsoever. It's just sometimes you feel like it's time to try something different, and so we're going to. Uh, HWPO, which is Hard Work Pays Off, started by Matt Fraser, who won the CrossFit Games five years in a row. Um, they've had programming for a while, but they recently rolled out an affiliate version of their programming that is geared specifically to uh, gems like us. So uh, I've looked at it. It looks super cool, super fun. Get some new movements and things that we just may not do at all or don't do very often that are already popping up in the first week of programming. So uh, we're going to be starting that on Tuesday. So a couple things you'll see again is some new movements or things that we don't do very often. Workouts are going to, or warm-ups are going to look a little different. Coaches are still going to, you know, kind of self-guide those. Um, workouts, again, a little bit different. Nothing crazy um, different. We're not, like, steering away from the CrossFit methodology. Just, you know, anytime you switch a program, there's going to be some different feels and vibes to those workouts. Uh, the beauty of this program is we're, instead of having, like, a fitness and a, and a performance option, you're gonna go back to seeing that traditional RX, and then there's an intermediate, and then there's a beginner. So regardless of whether this is your first day in a class or if you're an elite athlete, we're gonna have an option for each and every person. They're gonna be in there classified as their own version of the workout, so you can designate if you RX or scaled whichever version. And I'm really excited for this. You, know, you might notice that some of the movements in one tier are different than what we're used to, but just embrace it. It's going to be fun. It is some very cool workouts. Um, you know, still going to get in some of that functional bodybuilding stuff as well as some great workouts. Right now, it, it is in a <clears throat> in a power and endurance phase. So you're going to see some squatting, some pressing, some barbell work. You're going to see some tall box jumps, and they're also working on some muscle up work, bar muscle up specifically. So. Uh, be prepared to see the focus around those things between now and the middle of October 
And then in the middle of October, we're going to go into some weightlifting, uh, Olympic lifting specifically. So uh, I'm very excited for this. I've talked to a handful of the members that have, have caught wind of this, and they are very excited. So I hope you all will share in this excitement and get ready for some new and fun workouts. Uh, along with this new CrossFit programming, HWPO does provide what's called a sweat workout um, that I think we might modify a little bit to work into our WellFit classes as well. So um, if you see some, some workouts in WellFit that look a little different, it's because we're kind of playing around with different things there too, just to keep things fun and exciting. We don't want to get redundant and repetitive with everything we do. Um, so be on the lookout for some mix ends of different workouts within WellFit if you're doing that. So last month I mentioned we up or I updated the attendance boards. Well, after I did that, I realized, and then it was also brought to my attention that um, there's a handful of people that are missing off of there. So uh, Push Press changed some reporting, and the list I pulled did not include all current members, and it did not include any of the coaches. So uh, if your name is not up on the attendance board or um, not that we're neglecting you or forgot about you in any way. It's just when I pulled the report and I was in my routine of just writing everybody down, I completely overlooked uh, some people and all the coaches. So um, I'll get those updated as soon as I can. And some of you are going to benefit because I think I've waited long enough that you might jump up aboard. So if that's you, congratulations. All right, typically in the fall, we'll do a nutrition challenge, a um, little more hands-on based, but I decided I wanted to switch it up this fall. I wanted to give everybody the opportunity to just focus on doing some real thinking and, and, and put some thought around like what food is going in our body. So um, this is gonna be a completely free challenge. It's not gonna have as much hand-holding and guidance and things like that throughout the challenges, our typical challenges. Um, it's just basically a guideline of this is what you need to eat, this is what you don't. Um, I've shared that in the Facebook group. If you're not in Facebook, let me know and I'll share that with you. But this challenge for September is gonna be called the Real Food Challenge. And your goal is to only eat real food from September 1 till September 30th. Real food meaning meats, vegetables, eggs, nuts, fruits, you know, things that are not processed, all right? Um, if you have any questions, let me know, but don't overthink it. I told the morning class this morning, you know, if, if you're questioning if you can have it, it's probably because you know you shouldn't. So just don't do it, find a replacement. It's only 30 days. I promise you, you're gonna feel better, you're gonna look better, and you're gonna think, wow, like this is hard, but it's worth it. So you're, the, the biggest challenge with a challenge like this is being prepared, all right? So you've got to have your good food readily available. So do your grocery shopping, plan out your meals for the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner, snack, and have fun with it, all right? Embrace it, embrace the challenge, stick to it. If you wanna participate, if you haven't already, it's okay, sign up when you can, put your name on the board, you need to do an end body scan and do a before picture. At the end of September, we're gonna do another end body scan, an after picture, and then the person who has the biggest changes is gonna get a free month. So October is gonna be on me for, those, for, for the person who um, has the best results with this challenge. So I encourage each and every one of you to stick through it because you all have an opportunity to get a free month in October. All right, we've got a handful of events coming up, so I just want to highlight some of these in case you haven't registered or if you want to get registered. So uh, the first thing coming up is going to be Festivus, which is, I think, the first week in October. Uh, this is a what's considered a beginner CrossFit competition. Um, we've got a handful of teams. It's going to be down at CrossFit Charlotte. <clears throat> it's a uh, partner workout. I apologize, I don't know all the specific details, but I will share a link to it. I know we have a handful of teams that are going to be participating, and I'm excited to go down and watch them and cheer them on. There's some first-time competitors from the gym doing it, and that is so exciting. I love it. Um, nothing too serious, but just to going out and having a good time and giving her all and um, supporting each other through that. So if you're interested in having a fun little competition, Festivus is an awesome, awesome opportunity. October 12th 
uh, is Beers and Burpees. This is an annual event we do. It is super fun. It's for a great cause. It goes to help uh, kids in need throughout the area, specifically some like Make-A-Wish type uh, kids, which is awesome. We have done this for as long as I can remember. We always have a good representation. We've had as many as 20 teams. We currently have 10 teams registered. Uh, if you haven't already, grab a partner and join us at Beers and Burpees. It's a great day. Uh, the workout includes, I think it's three beers that you and your partner share throughout the workout. You split those three beers across four cups, and then you've got some running, some burpees, some slam balls, some box jumps. Um, it's thrusters with the slam ball. Like it, it's a really fun workout. I say fun. It, it, it's enjoyable. Uh, it, it's, it's different working out with a belly full of beer, but it's, it's all good and it's all fun. So um, if you haven't done it before, I would encourage you, and you're interested, I would encourage you to participate. Again, it's a great opportunity for all of us to gather together outside the gym doing something fun for a good cause. Eric is a uh, sponsor for them as well through Renew, so he'll be there with his tent set up so you can get some recovery stuff through him that day as well. Another thing coming up, just to kind of be planning ahead, registration came out this week, is the Turkey Trot. This is another annual tradition for the gym where uh, we all gather together on Thanksgiving morning and go out and run the Turkey Trot here in the town of Mooresville. It supports the Christian Mission, which is an organization that we love to support. And um, this is something else that we have typically a pretty good turnout for. So we'll um, just go out, get our trot on, and before we go and celebrate the day with our friends and family. So I um, hope that each of you can join. There's plenty of people that just walk it, push strollers. There's some people who try to run and do as well as they can. Uh, whatever you prefer is perfectly fine, but we'd just love to have you join us. And um, I'll share links to all these events in the, in the email and, or on the post, and that way you can get signed up for those that you, that you would like to. The last thing I want to make sure we're all aware is Mark is attending the Adaptive CrossFit Games in two weeks. So middle of September, he's going to San Antonio, Texas to compete against nine other guys in his division. He was one of 10 people in the world to qualify for this games uh, with his uh, adaptive, within his adaptive division. And um, as he would want you to know, he's also the oldest. So um, we're very excited for Mark. We appreciate each and every one of you that have supported him through the events that we did to help him get to San Antonio. And uh, we know he's going to do a phenomenal job. And hopefully, you know, if we can get the broadcast, if you know, depending on how that, that's done, like I would absolutely love if we could all get together, have a little watch party for Mark, and just watch him go out there and crush it. Um, he's, he's an amazing athlete, amazing person, and we look forward to supporting him on the, the biggest stage. So congrats again, Mark. We're super excited and proud of you. And the last thing I'll leave you with is just, you know, thank you for being awesome. You know, it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun here lately at the gym, a lot of good energy and some good workouts that are about to get even more fun and interesting. And I'm very excited for what's to come. Thank you to each and every one of you who are a part of this, uh, making this amazing community what it is. And uh, if you're new to the gym, I hope you're enjoying it. If you see a new face around, be sure you go up, say welcome, partner up on a Saturday with them, whatever we got to do. Let's have some fun, make everybody warm and welcome, and let's get in here and just have a blast, all right? Thank you guys so much for everything. If you need anything, as always, I'm here for you. Coaches are always available as well, but uh, we appreciate each and every one of you, and let's have an amazing September. See ya.